Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a new video. Today, I'm going to paint a sleeping dog, a Shiba Inu. It's my friend's lovely dog, Mango. To start, I will paint the base color. This will set the color and tone for the whole picture. First, let's create a background color. I mix raw umber with rose matter to make a soft brownish color. I use a flat brush to paint a big background so I can spread the color evenly. In this step, working with fast brush strokes is key. Work quickly to connect your brush strokes. If you need more time to mix colors, dampen your paper a bit. I'm working with dry paper because I want to keep the background as flat as possible. Damp paper and dry paper produce different results. If you guys would like, I can do a video to show you the difference. Let's paint the frame of the couch. I mix ultramarine deep with rose matter and Van Dyke brown to make a low chroma blue. Let's paint the color evenly to make it look like blue colored paper. For the cushion, I'll add more water to make a lighter blue since the light is coming from the upper right side. It also has some wrinkles, so I will add more layers later to create the shadows. Let's move on to mango. Her face can be divided into two colors, brown and white. I paint her brown fur first. For this part, I paint a very thin layer of raw umber. You should be able to see the sketch lines under the paint. Here further far, I leave some parts unpainted since I won't be using white paint for this picture. Let's keep painting the brown fur. Now, let's move on to her nose, the darkest part of the whole picture. Next, I will paint the shadow of her face. I try not to darken this part too much because I would like to emphasize the contrast between the two colors, brown and white. I painted the left side and lower part since the light is coming from the upper right side of the screen. It makes Mango's face look more three-dimensional. Now, it's time to move on to the details. I paint the brown fur using the tip of the brush, then draw Mango's eyes. She's actually sleeping, but doesn't she look like she's smiling? I also draw the fur around her eyes. I think the nose looks a bit faint. Let's draw the nose once more. I concentrate on her nose trails and the darkest part of her nose using a small brush. Let's paint the shadow of her nose. For her fur, I'll be sure to bring out the details. The color tends to get lighter as it dries, so I'll paint a bit thicker. I keep painting in the direction of her fur using this small brush. Let's also think about the darker parts and structure of her face. I use a darker color for the inner parts of her ear while leaving some space unpainted. Let's try to bring out the finer details of her fur. 
and bring her to life. Mango's nose looks a bit dull, so I'm going to wipe it off a bit to depict it more accurately. Now, I'm going to wrap up the part where Mango is on the couch. Instead of using one swoop of your brush, be sure to break it up a bit. This way, it won't look detached. It's now time to work on the folds and shadow of the cushion. I use a medium-sized brush to add the darker layers. I'm going to keep my brush strokes light to ensure I don't wipe off the base color. Let's draw the shadow under the cushion as well. Finally, let's work on Mango's whiskers. I will use quick feather strokes with a thin lining brush. Mango's portrait is now finished. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!